Hello, my name is Jay. Welcome back to my Tech Vault. And right here I have the Cooler Master 830 Special Edition Stacker. And this is a computer case that retailed for around $300 in 2010. Now, the purpose of today's video, and one of the previous videos, I guess, in the series, is that we went through and we kind of cleaned this up a little bit. We kind of restored it to its, I guess, as good as it was going to get. Um, and in this episode, I've got a few things that I want to accomplish. So first off, if you're unfamiliar, almost every single case out there at some point in time reaches a point where the IO on it is outdated. It just becomes at a point where the USB 2.0 at the time was probably the best of the best. But you know, since it's been about 10 years now, we're starting to need some newer IO. So I've actually got something right here. I've pulled out some cases. Uh, this is designed, this is pretty much, it's just a USB-C adapter. This is something you can order online. I'll have a couple of them in the description. But for what this is, is this is just a USB 3.0 um, to USB 3.0, well, USB, the, the motherboard header to the USB 3.0. And I've also here got a little adapter that goes from USB 3.0 to the USB-C. And I'm going to pretty much be trying to mount this in the front of the case. I want to get somewhere on here that I can update it so that I can pretty much use, take full advantage of this, while also having full access to, I guess, the majority of the computer as well, and still keeping the same amount of I.O. that was on there before. Now, if you're unfamiliar, this is actually pushing towards a super cheap editing system. I think a $500 editing system with like 32 cores or six, 16 cores, 32 threads, 128 gigabytes of RAM, all that stuff. Um, I've got a motherboard picked out, but that's what this project is going to be going towards. So in order to get this for like an editing slash server rig, we need some modern I.O., at least for, you know, my camera and stuff that we're using now. So I've also got a couple bits of glue over here, and what I'm going to try doing is actually fixing up some of the issues up here. So there was a lot of issues with uh, cracking, uh, some things have just really worn down, and I think that not only will I use the glue to kind of keep them together, but I also will go through and try to fix some of these little scratches and holes by just putting a little bit of glue in there and then sanding it down as well, trying to fix some of these little, I guess, cracks and holes as well by using the glue. So let's get started first off by just fixing up some of this little glue right here or some of the things that do need glue, some of these cracks and stuff on this plastic, which I mean is expected after so long of, I guess, sitting outside, who knows what it's been. And um, let's see what happens from there. All right, so here I've gone through and I've set this all up. Um, I've gone pretty much clean this up. It's still wet, so I probably shouldn't be putting my hand all over it. But for the most part, I've super glued it. Um, now, one of the things I want to point out, though, is the fact that how this sits in there is that it pretty much just... Actually, this is to connect to this for the USB ports. But you sit it in there, and you have all this space back here. I'm thinking we take this USB-C adapter and I drill a little hole back here. Nothing that's too crazy or anything, just drill it like right back there. And so that way it sits. Actually, I can unplug this too. But nothing crazy, so that the USB sits back there and then you can have easy access to it, uh, just all where the IO normally would be. We've also got, so we've got a total of four USB type 2.0 ports, uh, as well as the audio and AIO, as well as the fire Fire port or thunder, I forget the name of it, Fire Pro port. Um, but then we've also got the buttons on the top, and then we've also have there yourself a USB C, which of course can be easy for uh, adding additional docks or a bunch of expansion um, things that I guess connect to the USB. Basically, my camera, which is the main thing I'm worried about. Um, but that would be where it hits in there. So I'm just going to drill a little hole back here um, to take this out real quick. And uh, Get drilling a little hole back here.
So first off, I want to start um, with our USB-C that we added. Now I apologize, I don't have the best lighting system. I'm actually using my phone to show you guys this. But if we get in there, as you can see, it's not the best work, but I really liked where I put it because if you literally look at it from here with the dark, you're really not going to notice them. Sorry, I don't have a cameraman, so this is a little bit more work than expected. Um, but as you can see, you really don't notice it without the light. It doesn't actually look that bad. Um, a couple things I would change, though, is that accessing it or trying to plug a USB into it is, as you can see, kind of difficult. Um, it's, it gets actually kind of awkward. Uh, and I'm also trying to do this through the phone, but or through the camera, but you can plug in USB. And then it works fine. Um, and actually, I, I even like where it is right now, and I turned off the flashlight on the camera, or my phone. But I really like where that is, too, because it, it doesn't take away from where the USBs are at. It kind of lets them be. You can push this cable out of the way, and then you have full access to your USBs. But you also have, like, another panel back there as well. It also doesn't interfere with anything on the inside of the case, so we're really good. So the next thing we've got to do to pretty much go through, and I say finish updating this a little bit better, Obviously, if I had a little bit more budget for this kind of video, I'd go through and add maybe some USB Type 3.0s as well. All I had on me, though, was that USB-C. Honestly, that's all I'm really going to need, though. Uh, I'm not really transferring anything else, especially because I really need the USB-C uh, Type 3.1 or whatever just for my camera. So that's all only the really only fast one I needed. Obviously, if you're doing USBs and stuff or you have a different type of, type of media, that you really need fast access to, then of course get the one that has the USB 3.0 instead of the USB-C. But for here, here's what we got. I'm gonna also add some fans. Fans are important because this has actually kind of gone out of date. It's missing some fans, and some of these fans also look like they have some, they're pretty old, and especially because the wiring has kind of gone on them. I'm gonna update those as well. And then I'd say we're kind of finished up with the updating part of this. So let's see how it goes. So I've got a couple fans here to choose from. Uh, I'll probably start lining them up, figuring out what's the best one to go in here. But I do want to replace a lot of these fans because they are starting to go. I also have to find some that match and get them to all line up. It's going to kind of be a mismatch, I guess, of what ends up actually going in here or not. So I've got some blue fans, but I also want to make sure that I put the back fan, or fan on the back as well. So we'll just update some of these fans, add some new ones in, and then uh, see what Um, but yeah, as you can see, looks pretty good back there as well. Just a simple fan upgrade, really nothing crazy. And then also we have this little thing on the front with some super glue. Um, I did end up cracking a little bit of this back here as well. When, I don't know if you guys watched the that part when I was drilling this, but I did end up cracking some of the inside mod um, inside of this plastic piece, I guess. So just keep that in mind is that I, I super glued that back as well. I don't know how you guys can see that crack. So I just want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video showcasing off a little bit more of this case. Um, and I think in the next video, we're probably going to finish up a little bit more um, with actually building a system in it. So I think the final iteration of this case or this last little bit in this like, a series is going to be actually putting a system in there. I've got a really, really powerful budget system that we're going to be doing. Since this is all relatively cheap, we should be good to actually have this like a really low budget system, like a $500 workstation. It's going to be really exciting. I'm looking forward to it. It's got some pretty beefy power too. And as I said, this is end up going to, or going to end up being my server. So it will be really interesting to see how that goes. So thank you guys very much, very much for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and subscribe. If you guys want to see more of these series, or check out the last one. Also, I've got some mystery graphics cards that have rolled up soon. So uh, that will also be an interesting video on its own. So thank you guys very much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.